Hello beautiful humans, I'm Taylor Brin, a teenager passionate about veganism and sustainability. And today's video, I will be showing you how I make my own paper out of old paper. So I think I mentioned this in a past video and I know um, some of you kind of wanted to see the process and how to do that. So here's an example. Um, this one actually has seeds in it. Um, so once I'm done with this, I can plant it. And what I use this paper for, the seeded paper, um, for my business. So you want to check out the video and my process. I make earrings. For those who don't know, you can check out the video on one of these sides over here. Not really sure what side it's going to be on. <laughs> yeah, but here is an example paper. And this is literally made out of all of my old paper. And I just turned it into new paper. Um, today I'm going to be making non-seeded paper because I don't have seeds, so it will probably be a little bit less bumpy than this. This is only bumpy because, um, there's seeds in it, but it's plantable, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so I will show you through the process and let's get into it. There are two ways that you can do this. I will show you the way I personally do it, but I can also talk you through the other way because I know how to do the other way as well. Um, the timestamps are below if you, if I start saying something about my way and that doesn't work for you, you can just skip to the other way. All right, way one, um, the materials that you need will, will be, um, some old paper. So personally I'm in school, so let me pull out this for you. This is semester one. It's winter break right now. A lot of paper. And then you are also going to need... Um, a kind of like mesh like substance. I'm not exactly sure. Here's what it looks like and you'll need something like this of this kind of consistency. Um, kind of meshy like that. And you'll also need a picture frame. Um, that's what I stapled the little mesh type substance on so it gives it kind of a square um, or rectangle um, thing which is what I use for paper. If you wanted a different shape you could use anything else. You're going to need a tub of some kind, whether that's just a plastic tub that you have lying around. That's probably most preferable if you have anything that can hold the substance before you turn it into paper. It's going to be like wet, so make sure it's some like it's waterproof and nothing's going to leak out. You will need some kind of mat. I'm using like an, a painting mat that you put out when you're painting. It's just sitting in the garage. Um, but that's what I'm going to use as like to place all the paper out of because it is going to take time to dry So you'll want some space to put all the paper out so it has time to dry and It's all there together. So I use like kind of like a painting mat You'll also need a blender and water The first thing that you're going to want to do is cut or shred all of the paper that you're going to use If you have a shredder great you can shred it um, the first time I did this I just cut it up into pieces um, so either way works. So just cut up all of your paper so you have like a lot, all of the little bits and put that um, a decent amount into your blender. You're then going to want to put some water into the blender. I'm going to show you uh, how much I use. I can't remember if in the original recipe it had like a exact amount but I don't think there is. So I just put some water in the blender and then you're going to blend it all up and it's kind of going to have like a mushy kind of feel to it but that is a-okay it's gonna probably look a little gross but you know <laughs> once you've got that blended up substance you can put it into your tub and kind of maybe mix it around if you want this is where you're going to need your um, meshy substance stapled or attached to a picture frame and basically what you're going to do is kind of go in and put it inside the substance and pull it out and when there all the substance should be laying on top of it in kind of that square shape then you're going to go over into onto your mat and flip it over onto it and use a sponge or your hand even your hand works fine um, to just kind of press it into the mat and then slowly peel off the picture frame so it leaves the paper-like substance on there. It's going to be wet. It's You're thinking to yourself, how is this gonna turn into paper? When it dries, it should all dry together. So, and then you just keep repeating the process until you filled up your mat or until you have enough paper. 
Then you're going to wait for one day, just let it sit and dry for 24 hours. If you come back in 24 hours and it's still a little damp, um, the last time I did this, it was really hot in Texas and now it is winter. So I'm not sure if that's going to affect um, the drying time, but when you'll know when it's completely dry and all you will have to do is just peel it off of your mat and you should have some dry paper Hello, and this is way two. So if you don't have some of the materials needed in way one, or if you wanted a different way, um, here is the second way you can do this. So the materials that you will need um, are paper, or, um, any kind of old paper that you have used, it's all good. Um, you'll need a blender and water. So, and if you want to put it in a certain shape, you can have cookie cutters, or if you just want it to be flat like a rectangle, you can have a pan, just somewhere to put it. You can also have a mat um, too if you wanna have a lot of them, but that's gonna take a lot of time since a mat doesn't have a definite shape. Um, just for, for your information, so you're aware. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut up the paper or shred the paper and put it in the blender, add some water into there, and blend it all up until it's kind of like a mushy type substance. And what you're gonna do is take that mushy um, paper and kind of press it onto your pan or wherever you want it until it's kind of like thin almost and in the shape that you want and let it dry for at least 24 hours. If it's not all the way dry um, by 24 hours, just keep letting it dry until it's completely dry and then you should be able to peel it off and it should be paper. There are a couple of optional things that you can do with this. So um, for example, I put um, seeds in the first batch and so um, it's plantable now and when I make a sale, for my business, I always like write a note on it and make sure that they know it's plantable and they can plant it, so it's super fun. Um, if you don't wanna do that, there's also an option to put in like food dye or um, some kind of food coloring or something like that. And it'll be, um, have a color on it, whichever color that you choose. And it could be fun, colorful paper. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know how this worked for you. Let me know what paper you're making. Maybe even um, take a picture, tag me on Instagram at sustainableteen.us. Um, yeah, I think I'm wearing the same shirt that I was in my very last video. I swear I washed my clothes and such, okay? It's just happened. This has happened to me multiple times where I've like worn the same outfit the video pass because I do like weekly to every other week on Tuesdays so you know sometimes it happens like that so I'm pretty sure this is what I was wearing in my last video and if you haven't watched it maybe you should go check it out I'm, I'm gonna stop this video now I'm um, bye <laughs>